Hello friends and welcome to this session on geometry. We are dealing with circles and uh, here is a problem which we are going to solve in this session. What does the problem say friends? It says in the given figure AB is parallel to CD. Okay, so here AB, you can see this is AB and this is CD. They are parallel. OF is perpendicular to CD, right? This is given here and this is 90 degree. You can see it is already shown in the figure. OE is perpendicular to AB. Where is OE? This is OE. This is perpendicular to AB here. It is shown here. Very good. And um, it is CD is 24 centimeter. It's mentioned here. CD is 24 centimeter. AB is 10 centimeter. So AB is 10 centimeter. It is mentioned here. And EF is 17. It is mentioned here. Right. We have to find the length of the radius of the circle. Okay. Now let's clear these marks. Okay. Now the figure is self explanatory here. So, how to approach this problem? Clearly, you can see there are triangles that do right triangles, there are 90 degree angles. So, hence, what comes to your mind first? Application of Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? So, it's a straightforward case of Pythagoras theorem application. So, let's do that. And uh, some information anyways have been given to you. So let's utilize that. Now AB is parallel to CD. It's given. Okay. And OF is perpendicular to CD. So we know that if OF is perpendicular to CD. First let's start with writing what's given. It's a mandatory thing to do. Because that gives the clarity of uh, understanding to the person who's solving. As well as if you are in an exam and if you want to display your knowledge of uh, this particular topic then the examiner who is evaluating your script is going to see whether you have mentioned the right conditions right so of is perpendicular to cd also oe is just a repetition of this thing but also keep checking whether whatever you're writing is correct or not and cd is 24 cd is 24 centimeter ab is 10 centimeter it's given 10 centimeter okay and ef is 17 centimeter very good right right and what if what is the objective to find keep a command on the demand of the question to find radius of the given circle right so let's try and solve this question solution okay so we know that since since uh perpendicular perpendicular from the center from the center bisects the chord correct so if you drop a perpendicular from the center onto any chord it will bisect the chord so we know this isn't it so bisect bisects the chord okay so that means you can very clearly say CF is equal to FD and that will be equal to half of CD and that will be equal to what is CD guys? So if you look at the given condition CD is 24 just verify yes 24 so CD is 24 so 24 upon 2 that is 12 centimeter no doubt. So let us write that number here so CF is 12 okay. Also, by the same logic, you will say AE is equal to EB is equal to half of AB, isn't it? Same logic, the perpendicular drop from the center by 60 chord. So, half AB and AB is how much? Just check 10 centimeter, right? 10 centimeter, it's mentioned. So, hence it is 10 upon 2, hence 5 centimeter. For better clarity, let's write that value here fair enough now it's given that ef is 17 centimeter right so we will start with this let us say we will say that uh, you know this part you call it x oe let's say oe is x so what is this 17 minus x isn't it 17 minus x because the distance uh, EF, this whole distance here, if you see this, this distance EF between the two parallel lines, it is 17 centimeter. 
So if you take one as x, the other will be 17 minus x. Now, since CD is parallel to AB, uh, the OF and uh, OE, OF, this one, this one, OF and OE are collinear. They are in the same line, right? Since CD and uh, AB are perpend uh, sorry, parallel lines, so if you draw uh, perpendiculars from the same point on two, two parallel lines, it will be falling on the same line. So, F, O, E are collinear. Okay. So, hence we can say X and 17 minus X. If these lines were not parallel, that is AB was not parallel to, let's say AB was not parallel to CD, then this logic, this logic would not work. Right. Then the distance between them is not 17. That you should keep in mind. Okay. Now, once we know this, we can always write or take the help of Pythagoras theorem. So you can say in triangle, in triangle OFC, what can I write? I can write OC square is equal to OF square plus FC square. Without doubt, let it be number one. And similarly, let me now write it here. Okay. So in triangle, in triangle, which one? Um, o A E. Look at O A E. Look at the figure. You will see O A square. O A square is equal to O E square plus E A square. Okay, and both these are because of you can write Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras's theorem. Right? Without doubt. Very good. So hence now. Since both are being equated to the radius, so since OC is equal to OA is equal to R, isn't it? OC is equal to OA is equal to R. So what we can do, we can equate. So from 1 and 2, you can say from 1 and 2. What can we say? We can equate both these. So you can say OF square plus FC square is equal to um, OE square plus E A square, isn't it? Right? So what is O F guys? O F is 17 minus X. So 17 minus X whole squared plus F C. What is F C guys? 12 square will be equal to O E square. What is O E? X. Look at the figure. It is X. We have mentioned it as X and E A square. What is E A? E A is 5 square that we have calculated already. So let's proceed. Let's proceed further. So what do we do? use the identity a minus b whole square open these brackets so 17 square minus 2 times 17 times x plus x squared plus 144 12 square is 144 okay and that will be equal to that is going to be equal to how much x squared plus 25 isn't it now if you see this x squared and this x squared can be cancelled okay because they are on two sides of the equation now, uh, 2, 17 square is, let's simplify this. This is 289 plus 144, isn't it? Minus 25, if you take this 25 on the LHS, take this 25 in the LHS, you'll get minus 25. And this is 34x, which will come on the RHS. Okay. Now, let us make another column and try solving here. Okay. Now, so what do we get? 289 minus 25, which will be, if you see, um, 4 and uh, 6, 264, right? 264 plus 144. So let me write it here. Plus, it will be easier to add. So how much it is? 8, 4 plus 4. And now this is equal to 34x, isn't it? So 4 plus 4, 8. 6 plus 4, 10. 4. 408 is equal to 34x. So what is x, my friends? 408 by 34. Okay, this is, and if you see, this is 17 tuja and 17 uh, twice, and you have uh, 68, which is 4. So you'll get x as 12 centimeter. Fair enough. So, my dear friends, x is 12 centimeter. If x is 12 centimeter, then my job is done. So now I have to find out radius. So AC or AO square is equal to x square plus 5 square, which is, let me just draw a margin here. Yeah, A square is equal to, so AO will be under root X square. How much? 
12 square plus 5 square and you know 12 and 5 are part of the Pythagorean triplet so hence AO is 13 centimeter okay so hence we could solve this problem and figure out the value of radius AO right so R is equal to 13 centimeter this is our finding so what is the learning in this question we used uh, the property one theorem that a perpendicular from the center bisects the chord this was the important theorem so you must know this as well as the application of uh, Pythagoras theorem as well as how to uh, equate to given conditions and find out the right answer so that was that is what is learned in this problem so let's take another problem and understand that as well 